A lot of people who felt the shaking from that earthquake all the way down here in Utah are now wondering if the Idaho earthquake is somehow related to the earthquake we had two weeks ago in Magna. We spoke with Keith Coper, the director of the University of Utah seismograph stations, and he says the two earthquakes are not related. He says it's sort of a coincidence, and it's very uncommon for earthquakes of this size to be related. The earthquake in Idaho is a magnitude 6.5, and Coper did say that a quake of that size can create triggers or smaller earthquakes, but there is no evidence that this earthquake will create any triggers or affect our chances here in Utah for a bigger earthquake anytime soon. We still do have this, this risk that, you know, in the next 50 years, there's about a 50% chance of, of a big earthquake happening on the Wasatch. So, and that probability has not changed at all, really, uh, from this Idaho earthquake. Coper says Utahns don't need to be worried about this, but they do need to be prepared. And just for reference, on the magnitude scale, the earthquake in Idaho produced 16 times more energy than the one in Magna two weeks ago. Coper says that a 6.5 magnitude earthquake here in Magna would have produced significantly more damage. In Magna, Lexi Johnson, Fox 13 News, Utah.